Hello people and YouTube, Librarian Online and the Peaceful Wargaming Club forum. Um, I've been working on a project for the past day, so I thought I'd give you uh, an update of what it is. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is the start of a trench board. Um, if anyone watches the blue table painting um, videos, Although they recently did a trench board and I got inspired. So, um, this right here, if you can see it, is the design concept. So, like half the board is going to be trench works and foxholes and stuff like that, and the rest is going to be basically no man's land. I have thought about this, I have taken into account the different ways to play 40k. I haven't had a chance to look at the new Battle Missions book yet, but yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, if I just put this down on the table, I will demonstrate. So for example, if you're playing um, pitch battle, you've got 12 inches on here, 12 inches on here, great. You've got this much of trench which is empty, and this much of much numbers which is empty, so it's a, it's a fight to get to see who gets to the middle first. If you're on a spearhead, you've either got this corner or this corner. Again, half the trenches are empty. The interesting one is when he's come to play uh, Dawn of War. So you've got, I mean, the, the defender will set up on this half of the board, I'm assuming, unless they're being a complete and total moron. But they've only got two troops on one HQ maximum. If you're Imperial Guard, great. But if you're anything else like Space Marines or Orcs, you get got to take your guys on the front lines. But there's only, I say you are Space Marines, there's 11 guys there. That's not going to help you, and the rest of your guys are going to come on from the back. So, I have thought about it, trust me. So, as you can see, I've started hacking out the first board. It's uh, three boards of MDF uh, with this pink insulation foam glued on. They're two foot by four foot, roughly, so when you put them all together, they become uh, a six by four table, which is eight. So, yeah, this bit here is going to be a, a pillbox. So it's a bit like a standard size pillbox with trimming large can in there. So it's going to sit in there quite happily and have the have a full 180 degree shooting range. Um, this here, machine gun there, so your uh, Imperial Guard heavy weapons team can go in there, or your Space Marine Devastators, or your Orc uh, looters, whatever. They'll all go in there fit nice and tight and have plenty of cover saves. This right here, I need to finish cutting this out, but this is a sniper pit. So your uh, special weapons guys, so like your Imperial Guard snipers, will go in here and they'll do shooting stuff. This one here that I'm standing on is the central board. So I've just finished drawing uh, out the uh, trench work. So all this is going to be cut out to create trenches. This is going to be another machine gun nest. This here is going to be a command pillbox. So I'm thinking either one story and lots of fortifications or two stories with heavy weapons on the top. And you see there's only one access point for that. Um, this right here is going to be a ramp so you can get in and out. And actually if I show you, I've also been working on a few other projects that, uh, whilst I've been doing stuff. So, yay, white rhino. So you can see, if I go to one of these trench areas, a line will fit over that quite heavily, quite happily, but I'm assuming any tank that was to cross over the trenches is either going to have to go over some sort of lacquer board, which I'm going to make, or they can take a dangerous trench and risk ends up being face down in the trench. So, I'm hoping it's going to make for some interesting gaming. Um, I'm not going to work on any uh, 3D elements, apart from things that could be removable, because then, if we look at the other side, it's blank MDF. Blank MDF. So I was figuring um, getting one of the new battle mats and gluing that on. So one side you've got the trench works, other side you've got a plain board to do anything, Lord of the Rings, whatever. And the cool thing about this thing being modular is, if you really want to, you can have a 4x4 table, or a 4x2, which would be strange. But yeah, um, 
lots of potential. I'm going to need some people to cut up, uh, turn off MDF, so I don't have enough insulation foam to fill in this lot here. So if anyone's good with the jigsaw, I can slice that off. That'll be eight. So I'm going to get to work on setting this lot out. Um, and I will give you an update soon.